Dave Good here at Big Dog Tour Stop number four with uh, champion Greg Bedell. Congratulations and Scott Larson. Wow, what a what an event. It was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So Scott, let's start with you. You were at our tournament earlier this year, uh, uh, earlier this week, I should week, say, yeah. and came directly here. How's it feel? Awesome. It feels awesome. Ski great at your place, and then uh, it was great to come here and, and uh, pick up where I left off. So yeah. Fun. Well, you had some tough competition. Seth Stisher was putting it down. Yeah. You had a run 39 to beat him. Impressive. Yeah. Thank you. Thank Impressive. You. Good. Good. You're riding the XTR. Greg, congratulations, man. <laughs> so, Masterman's national champion on the XTR. Correct. Made a switch over to the Revolution. Tell me what you feel and what you... Uh, you know, the, the Revolution for me is really, it's about going back to what we started with Rev 6 and just finalizing some things that we really liked in that ski and then reproducing it in a different mold, in a different core. And so the energy of the ski is completely different than what we've come off of with the XTRs and phenomenal ski. It's a super solid, stable ski, and it skis well. Um, it's definitely my backup. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <Yeah. laughs> but the Revolution, the thing I like about it, it has so much more energy off the backside. It carries through the back of the boat, has a great angle. And so it gives you that space going into the next ball. Sometimes almost a little bit too much, like my first round. Yeah. You know what? I got too much. Yes. And so yeah. I had to kind of back off. Yeah. Actually hit the hit the one ball. Yeah. I got there, I got there too <laughs> early, so I backsided it, and I actually clipped it, and it threw me out. So yeah. Yeah. I had to kind of just figure out the altitude. Here's a little different, so changed my gate factor a little bit today, and okay. it just kind of started clicking. Greg, you had Jeff Rogers. Always a tough world record holder, world champion, number one in the world. Yeah, he's just, you know, Jeff is beatable. It's not that he's beatable daily, but like I had him in West Palm Beach and I had him and Frederick. And you, you know, you got, I had the hardest bracket to get through, but those guys, <laughs> if you ski well and you make them fight for it, there's a good chance they can make a mistake. Yeah. If they think it's an easy bracket, they usually stroke them. But when they actually get to somebody that has a little bit more girth with them that they're going to fight, <laughs> they sometimes will make mistakes. And that's what happened, I think, to Jeff today. Yeah, his first uh, 39, he didn't run a whole tournament. Yeah. So, um, okay, you guys, 35 off start. Yes. You know you got Greg. You've skied a lot. Skied <laughs> this a lot week. against Greg, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, strategy, plans? No, I mean, I, I, the more I ski, the more relaxed I get and the kind of just get into a rhythm and not over pull. So I, I, I actually like starting at 35 mm -hmm. in, in the tournament and, yeah. and going from there. You had uh, some really sweet looking 38s out there. Um, and uh, so congratulations, yes. Greg, for you. You chose to go first. Yeah. Put the pressure on. Well, I, you know, I, there's I, we could tie at the finals, but, you know, I didn't want to even put it out there. I wanted to go. I actually thought I was going to run 39 pretty easy, and then I kind of backed off in the middle of the pass, which cost me the pass. And I knew five was going to be a chore. I mean, he'd just come off of running a 39, so he probably felt a little more solid than I did. Yeah. So it was, it. you know, to me, I want to go first, just I want to put the pressure on. If I can yeah. go out and throw a big score, it yeah. usually makes somebody have to uh, think about it a little bit differently. So, Scott, one last question for you. When you were... Uh, in uh, Utah uh, just last week, I asked you about the Big Dog Finals, and you said, no, uh, I think I've got Kim's birthday or something coming up. Yeah, exactly. Have you changed your mind? I don't know. Have <laughs> <laughs> I changed her mind? Yeah. Yeah. We need we'll you see. there. <laughs> Congratulations, Thank you guys. Thanks, awesome. Awesome. Thanks, yeah, congratulations. Appreciate it.